All right, everybody, welcome to the webinar today on the Just Listed Challenge, where we're going to try to make sure that you get 50 buyer leads, name, email, phone number, purchase timeframes, uh, and phone scripts, along with a hot listing lead that turns into a listing here pretty quickly for you. All right, so we're going to be looking at Facebook ads like this one, that when people click on the ad, it's going to return the name, email, phone number, and the time frame that they're looking to buy. Whether it's a video ad, a straight up image ad, we're gonna talk about some uh, short form video scripts that you can use if you wanna do like an Instagram reel or just a regular video and you need something kind of quick and easy to say that's gonna help convert. We're gonna talk about some stuff for the seller. We're gonna talk about email marketing. Uh, and we're gonna talk about a few other things as well to help you generate some really awesome buyer leads, some really awesome seller leads as you market this just listed listing all right so if you are not a client yet make sure you get over to listingsleads.com sign up for your free trial and if you are a client and you are so interested in uh our annual plans you can find more information about those there we just released annual plans a couple of months ago so that is there if you would like and i have logged into my listings to leads account and it looks like this and before we go any further, I'm gonna real quickly show you just a couple of quick things in your profile that I just like to make sure that we're all set up properly. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this. If you need more help on anything I'm gonna show you here, uh, get with support and they can help you out with it. It's just my purpose here to show, to show this to you so you know that it is available, all right? And the first thing is the CRM integration tab in the profile that's right next to the affiliate information uh, program that we have. So under CRM integration, note all the CRMs here. And if your CRM is listed, then just put in the uh, requested information as asked, and that will then uh, start sending all of your leads to your CRM automatically, all right? And that's really what we wanna make sure happens. If your CRM is not listed here, then uh, under other CRMs, just go ahead and type in, or not type in, probably probably paste in the lead forwarding email address from your CRM. So for example, if you're using, uh, well, we got follow-up boss, um, I don't know. But if your CRM, mo all pretty much every CRM has what is called a lead forwarding email, all right? And it looks like a real funky email address that wouldn't really work. It does work. Just copy it from your CRM and just paste it right here click save and that will then start sending all of your leads from listings to leads to your crm automatically all right so we like to make sure that that is going on and the second thing i'm going to mention here is auto posting all right and again i don't have time to go through this for this call today uh there are support posts on every page here in the lower left there's a kind of a blue icon that says questions if you click on that it'll open up the support post but you can see here i'm connected to my facebook LinkedIn or Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. All right. So you can uh, connect to all of these social media platforms and we will auto post to them. These are not ads, they're just regular postings. Um, so they don't really get a lot of leads, uh, but they will post to your uh, Facebook community pages, whatever you got there connected. So anyone that are in your networks on those platforms uh, can have the opportunity to see that. Uh, listing or whatever it is that we're auto posting. All right. So check out auto posting there as well. And then under account appearances, here's where you can upload your logos, customize the color patterns, uh, select the default social media share image uh, template that you want to use. Um, and so that's pretty useful for a lot of people as well. All right. So, and real quickly, I will touch on this towards the end of this call, but we did just introduce social content beta um, where we will let you select from different categories and then we will auto post on the different days and times that you select. Um, but I'll get to that a little bit later in this call as a little bonus add on there. All right. Would love to make sure I show that to everybody. It is still in total beta um, and uh, it'll be live for everybody probably in the next week or two, but you can always request beta access today and get that live in your account in the next few days probably, all right? So with that said, I am on the listings dashboard. If your just listed listing is not in your account, again, get with support. They can help you get that in there from the data feed, hopefully, 
or show you how to click add listing and you got options for manually adding a listing grabbing the listing if it is if you got the uh, zip code and mls id number um but hopefully we've got your account set up so that all the listings are coming in automatically from the data feed all right that's what we really prefer is to make sure that your listings are just coming in automatically and uh and updating automatically all right so again get with support if needed on that part of it so today we're talking about just listed listings all right now what i'm going to share with you for the most part will work all the way across all listings whether it is coming soon active open house pending or just sold there are some slight variations but after this webinar you'll be you should be very comfortable in the marketing platform using listings to lead for any listing in your account whether it's your listing or a listing that you're borrowing to hold open all right so with that said, I got my listing here at 5530 Douglas Boulevard in Granite Bay. You can see the status here is just listed. And before we go off into marketing that listing, let's look at a few edits in that we can make for this listing that I, I recommend, right, where, where appropriate. So I clicked on edit for the listing. And let me just point out, you can upload your professional photos. So if you got professional photos that you want to upload versus the ones coming in from the MLS, you can upload those here. If you've got a video or a 3D tour that you want to add, all right, you can do that here as well. I can upload the video, put in a YouTube URL, or for example, like a Matterport 3D tour, I can put the embed code right here. And that'll put that video 3D tour right inside of the single property website. So when people land on it from anywhere on the internet, all right, they're going to see your video. All right, think walkthrough video, drone video, prop, uh, professional video like that, okay? The, I will mention appearance. So if you ever need to customize the colors at a individual single property website, you can. Please make sure for every listing that is in your account, where it is your listing, that you've got the information here for the seller. Because what happens is we've got tools at every status for the seller an e-flyer to share via email, a post for them to put on Facebook, and those generate a lot of really good leads for you, all right? And so I have to do is just put in the seller's email address and name and click save, and we will do the rest for you, all right? And I'll talk more about that a little bit later in this webinar. And the last thing I'll just mention is under preferences. In here, you can control some of the different uh, how the lead capture form works and so on there, all right? Now that's just the lead capture form on the single property website, not the Facebook lead ad form, which again, we'll cover that a little bit later. So there's, the main thing here I think is really photos, video 3D tours, and the seller information, all right? Those are the three things that, if you got professional photos, upload them. If you got a video, put it in. And if it's your listing, make sure you got the seller's information here because that's going to unlock some very powerful lead gen referral tools um, and the sellers absolutely love them as well all right so with that said let's go back to my main listings dashboard and again so now we're going to click on the green market listing button for 5530 douglas boulevard before I do that, are there any questions on anything I covered first? All right, we covered a couple of the profile settings, uh, most notably the CRM integration, make sure the leads are going to your CRM. Secondly, we talked about a few edits to be made in the listing, uh, most notably uploading your professional photos if you got them, uploading a video 3D tour if you got it, and then making sure you got the seller's information uh, in the section there that called for it, all right? Once, you, once you're good to go, and if none of that's appropriate, awesome, but uh, I suspect some of it is, now we're ready to click on the green market listing button, all right? So click on that, and this is going to drop you into the work area for getting this Facebook ad done for your listing, all right? Now, all you need to do is click the green create ad button. We have auto-filled location, although you can edit that. You can add more areas you can delete this and add a different area whatever you want to do we got the radius 15 mile that's required by facebook already there but you can make that bigger if you like 
we're using a lifetime budget of $35. That's totally editable. So if I want to come here and say, you know, I want to do $55, that's totally fine. We got the start and end date. We do it for one week, although again, that's completely editable. And all you have to do is click the green create ad button. So you just confirm the location, confirm the budget and the time, right? That is going for a week. Click the green create ad button and you are off and running. All right. It's literally that easy. Once you're uh once you land on this spot right here, you'll see there's a green on, and then there's a view, an edit, and then a delete. And so I'm gonna click view. So I want to go see what my ad looks like. And now if you do it too quickly, you'll get this message here that it's no longer active, which is a really weird message from Facebook, all right? It can take a few seconds for that ad to get to reach Facebook. And by the magic of listings to leads, here it is, all right? That is the ad that we literally just created in listings to leads like 10 seconds ago. Now I'm gonna click the blue show ad button. And I'm gonna scroll down. And there's our ad. And when I click the ad, name, email, phone number, and purchase time frame. All right, so I'll say three to six months. Click next. And then I will be able to get to view listing. And here we are on my single property website where I've got a full screen video. People can scroll down. And this, you know, I'll tell you, the virtual tours and single property websites from listings to leads are absolutely awesome because they really help further qualify the lead. So for example, right here, when do you plan to buy, we can help. So people can fill this out and you get more information about when do they plan to buy. If they are a homeowner that just happens to be looking at listings in their area because maybe they're just doing a little bit of research, something about selling at some point, here, they can put in their property address and get their home value estimate right there. And then lastly, I'll mention here, people can literally download PDF guides from your account right here. So again, imagine I'm a homeowner and I'm looking at your single property website and I see these PDF guides and I click to download and check this out. Do you own a home? Yes. Do you need to sell before buying a new one? Yes. Continue with Facebook. So that just captured my name and email and it sent it to you as the agent as a, a second lead for the same uh property but now you're going to see that i'm a homeowner and i need to sell before i buy and that i also requested this pdf guide and every one of you on this call and all of our clients have this branded to them all ready to go right check this out all branded to me I'm using my team name. My team's name is the My Home Soul Team. I'm not an agent. I'm just playing one at this point in my career. But just so you can see how this looks and how it works, right? Absolutely awesome. Somebody asked, does this auto make status as, I don't really get the question. If your question is, are these ads uh, compliant for the special housing ad category? The answer is yes. We take care of all of that by default, all right? So that you don't have to, all right? So there's that ad, right? I mean, how awesome is that ad? All right, so there we are back in listings to leads. Now, let me show you, I'm gonna click create ad and I'm gonna show, I'm gonna do the same ad, but now with a video, right? So again, I just confirm location, the radius, the budget, and now I'm gonna click change media. There's a blue change media button right there. And here I can upload my video. So if I got a I got a walkthrough video, a professional video, a drone video, I can click the green upload button and upload the video. Now I've already got a video here that I'll just select. So here's my video. And check this out. We will literally put the video right into the ad. So as people are scrolling down the Facebook newsfeed, they're gonna see the, your video and not the image, all right? So just a little tip from me to you. I always recommend running the ad once with the standard image as a control. And then if you wanna try doing a video, 
rerun the same ad either at the same time or maybe the next ad you're going to run like a week later run the one with the video and just see how those compare all right but again there's my video there's my ad and again all i have to do is click the green create ad button now i'm going to click it i'm going to click two things to show you one retarget current leads if i wanted to i wouldn't necessarily do it for this ad per se but if I wanted, usually I save custom audiences more for my just solds and my pendings. Um, and you can get into the mastermind group and find out more about that. But I can always retarget right here. So for example, if I do have a buyer audience in my Facebook, at, in, in, uh, in Facebook, I can select that audience right there. I can also click advanced options and I can edit the text on the left-hand side. Right, and you can see it edits over here. I can change the headline, the description, all that, my interests, my placements, my code, my pixel code, and again, create ad. So we've set it up, we've run hundreds and hundreds of thousands of ads in our system, uh, probably over a million dollars, I'm sure, at this point in ad budget being run through our system. So we know it works really, really well. So we've got everything set up for you so that for 95% of you, you don't need to worry about all those different settings, all right? We've got all of that done for you, all right? Um, but for those of you that want to get into more advanced options and play around with different things, when you click that advanced options uh, toggle there, that will open that up for you. But again, for 97% of you on this call and listening to this webinar down the road on the recording, I just say, just leave it as is. And again, just confirm the location, confirm the budget, and just click uh, create new ad or create ad, all right? And you will be good to go. We see most people are generating buyer leads with name, email, phone number, purchase time frame, uh, anywhere between a dollar and $5 a lead, all right? So good luck with that <clears throat> on the ads. Next up, social media post. So this is a free auto post, right? I showed you a little bit earlier in the profile, how you can set up auto posting in the profile. And here's Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. I'll just click on the Facebook one and we'll walk through how it works. Right, so again, this is a free auto post. People click the image, they go to the single property website. And here, the lead capture form will pop up automatically, all right? Because they didn't come from a Facebook ad where they had to give their name, email, and phone number, right? When they come from an ad where you already got the name, email, and phone number, we do not pop up the lead form again because it's kind of idiotic, right? We're, they've already given us their information. But if they come from like a free auto posting or an e-flyer or the post on the seller's page, then this lead capture form will pop up. All right, because you didn't capture the lead on the auto post. So we'll capture the lead here. And again, people click and you get their name and email. And uh, there is an option to have phone, re phone required there as well. All right. So we again, we'll auto post to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And you can see an example of what it will look like right there. Share on the seller social media. So you remember a little bit earlier, we put in uh, we put in the uh, edit listing. We put in the seller's name and email. Well, this is why we do that, all right? So what will happen is an email will get sent to the homeowner. And let me show you what that looks like. There we go. Let me bring it over here. And so the seller is going to get an email. They're going to get two emails, one with a social media post, and one's going to be an e-flyer that they can share uh, via email, all right? So there's the social media post one. And it was cool. I just talked to a client yesterday who loves these tools. And I had another client who I was talking to last week who was telling me, man, they get so many leads. They use this religiously for every single listing. Um, once in a blue moon, they'll get a seller that doesn't want to use it, which is totally fine. Um, but let, here, let me role play with you 
why these work so well and a little bit more of how they work, all right? So they're gonna go to the seller and you're gonna get CC'd. And this is the version that you get, all right? The version that the seller gets just starts with their name right there. And for the uh, social media post, it's gonna start with their names here, all right? And the version you get, there's a little bit of verbiage at the top of the e-flyer in the social media post, just to give you a little bit of information. But here's the deal. These are gonna come from your email address. So the seller is gonna think you sent it to them, all right? So they're gonna be thinking that you as the agent sent them an e-flyer and something to put on Facebook. You're gonna be CC'd at the exact same time, so you'll know when they got it. And then here is where the money is, all right? This is where all the money is, is in the phone call that you're gonna make to that homeowner, right, to that seller. And let me role play with you because it's it's a lot of it is in the the, the verbiage here, all right? So l just listen. So I'll say, hey, lo hey, Laura, this is Scott. Just wanna let you know that we uh, got your home on realtor.com. We got the Facebook ad out. It is on our company website, all right? We've got our 85 point marketing plan started and it's going really, really well. And, but I wanted to send you something to share on Facebook and via email because people you know likely know someone that's looking to buy in the area. With the market as hot as it is right now, we do not wanna leave any stones unturned. So if you'd like to put that on Facebook so that people, again, people you know can share it with other people that might be looking to buy in the area, and it's the same with the e-flyer, that would be awesome, all right? Now, if they don't wanna do it, that's awesome. But here's the thing, if it all gets into that there are people that you know that likely know someone looking to buy in the area and we don't want to leave any stones unturned, right? However you might say that in your own words is where the money is at, all right? It's that, it's that, it's, it's the, here are all the things I'm doing already. So I'm doing a lot of stuff as the agent and I want to share a couple of things with you so that we don't leave any stones unturned. Let me know, all right? Does that make sense for everybody? Do you get how that kind of works? And it really becomes, it really becomes a powerful tool for you because now the seller is going, you know, God, this stuff looks awesome. Right now, I'm gonna show you what that, uh, I'm gonna show you what this looks like on Facebook here in a second. Here's the e-flyer. I apologize, I'm sitting there showing you all the text in the e-flyer, but here's the e-flyer, right? All the images are rotating, looks absolutely fabulous. And people click the image and they go right to the single property website, all right? They click the Facebook post, and I'll, I'll show you here. So here is the, uh, the social media post for the seller's Facebook page. Notice it says, our home just listed for sale, right? Because it's the seller speaking here, right? This is the seller's voice. That's, this is my real estate team name, the my home sold team. So, the, my, so it would say your name, so like it might say, uh, Michelle Langley at XYZ Real Estate Company created this and many of the tools that are being used to market our home on the internet and other places. Check it out, leave a comment. So this is just trying to increase engagement with the seller's sphere of influence, right? Does make, everybody see how that works, right? That should make sense. And so this is a phenomenal way to get free leads, right? From your seller sphere of influence into your database so that you can start communicating with them um, for their real estate needs, all right? So again, make sure you're using, right, an edit listing, you've got the seller's name and email under seller information so that the uh, social media post for the seller and the e-flyer for the seller can get sent to them, all right? Again, there's the e-flyer, all right? So any questions on that? Can you share the script? Yeah, well, I just did, right? Holly, there's really three parts to the script to the script for talking to the homeowner about this. One is tell them, give, give them a quick snapshot of all the things that you've already done, right? Hey, your property is on Zillow, it's on realtor.com, it's on my company website, and it's already now on, you know, every agent in the MLS has seen it, and all the buyers that are looking for homes in the area have now seen it. We got a Facebook ad going. I got the e-fly out to my database of 4,000 people that are looking to buy a property in the area. So we got your home is looking awesome, all right? But I just wanna make sure that you know, you're, you're gonna know people that are, let me back up, the second part. You will, people you know are 
gosh, dang, I don't know why I'm stuttering on this already. So I'm sorry, part two of that script. There are people that you know that are looking to buy in the area and we just don't want to leave any stones unturned, all right? It's kind of like the dotting the I, crossing the T on making sure we've got 130% coverage for your listing, all right? And then just wrap it up, you know, the third part is, do you need any help or do you have any questions on this, all right? And, and for 90% of the sellers, if not more, are gonna sit there and go, God, Michelle's already killing it, right? She's already awesome with all the work she's doing. That sounds fabulous. And secondly, she is even going beyond that to not leave any stones unturned, right? And it makes sense, right? I probably know some people who have friends looking in the area and it would make sense, right? To make sure that their friends know about my property for sale or my home for sale. So yeah, I'm gonna, that makes sense that I would put that on my Facebook page and share that with some people via email, right? It's a competitive market out there. I don't, I don't care if you're getting 20 offer, offers on your home. This is still a phenomenal way to, again, not leave any stones unturned, all right? And for you, it's just a lot of free leads. All right, awesome, awesome, awesome. Next up, the nearby homeowner letter. And let me just at this point mention, if you scroll down a little bit further, postcards and door hangers. So EDDM, Panoramic, Mega, Jumbo, Standard, right? We have a lot of stuff right here. Also, I'm excited to let everybody know that within a couple of weeks, our uh, API integration with Express Copy will be live, where you will literally be able to download, mail, print, and pay to get these letters to either your list that you upload or the list that you purchase uh, to sell or to get these letters, postcards to the homes around your listing, all right? So these letters, and here I'm gonna take the opportunity to click on the support post for this. Let's just click on that real quickly here. And that way you can see that there's a support post for every item on that list. And there's a short little video here that walks you through using that nearby homeowner letter. But that nearby homeowner letter, let me, I like the middle one, so I'm gonna download it. And so what people do is at this point, what they do is they just either download and door knock, download and door drop, or download and mail either by uploading to like a Vistaprint, Prospects Plus, um, or just they do it themselves, all right? Now, we've also got postcards. If you want to use the postcards, we got door hangers. I don't really care which one you use. I like the door hanger or the letter number one if you're in an area that you can walk around um, because it allows you to meet people in the in the area, all right? Have your scripts ready, know what you're gonna say if you meet somebody. Um, but, uh, you know, I like to try to be in the neighborhood so people can actually see me, all right? And so a door hanger um, that I can put on the door, a letter, and let me role play with you with this letter. You don't need to edit it, although it is editable, all right? And this letter generates the best quality listing leads, all right? And so the two best ways of using the letter is either door knocking or mailing with an auto dialer. And I'm going to explain both, all right? So had a client, she downloaded the, she printed up the letter, like 50 of them, and she went door knocking in her area. Now, this is California. This is just a couple of months ago. So, right, we're all in COVID and all that stuff. Um, and so here's what she would do knock on the door, take a couple of steps back. When somebody answered the door, should hand them the letter. And it's a real easy, hi, the, hi my name is Scott Pierce with Eldo Realty and we and 5530 Douglas Boulevard just listed for sale. And that's when I hand them the, the sheet. And just wanna give you the information about the property. If you have any questions, let me know. And when the home is sold, your home value will be affected. And so there's a link right there where you can get more information about your current home value at any time. And that's it, because here's the thing, and this is what I think most people don't keep in mind. You wanna be hitting, if it's your listing, you're gonna hit that listing hopefully three times over the course of the listing. Whether you do 50 at a pop or 100 at a pop, it doesn't really matter, all right? Whether you door knock or mail, it doesn't really matter. But I want you to get in the, the, the frame of mind of, I don't need to close them, I just need to engage with them. I need to let them know I'm not some psycho, right? I need to let them know that I am someone that they can talk to without feeling pressured, 
that they can talk to without being cornered. And that when I come by the second time, right now think about it, this is a just listed, maybe I'll have an open house in a couple of weeks. And that's another opportunity for me to go by and meet the neighbors. And I'll tell you, you may not be thinking this, but take it from me as the founder of the company and expert on this, when the listing goes pending, that is probably my favorite time because I know something you don't, which is the listing is pending, right? Most, most, most neighbors would never know that, but it's a phenomenal time to go back around and knock on doors, right? Um, and we got a whole script for uh, pending that is in the mastermind group, right? That uh, you can go find, just type in pending and that should come up for a script on the pending, right? And then obviously just sold. Now you don't, you're not gonna sit there and do every single status that, that gets a little bit nuts, but I would try to hit 50 to 100 homes around that listing three times over the course of the listing because it's all about repetition, right? Nobody ever got, does an ad or a marketing with one message one time. Does that make sense for everybody? So that's why sometimes people go, well, I tried something and it didn't work. Well, doing something once, doing a push up is not going to make me Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? That, that's not how it works. Doing a push up is a push up. You got to do it over time and get your brand, get your message, get your stuff out there over time. Um, and so, but let me just tell you, I've had people use this one time uh, and, and get three listings from one mailing, all right? So anyways, so that's the door knocking version of it, all right? The other one is mailing it, right? Self-addressed stamp envelope, uh, like a letter size envelope that looks like uh, handwriting on the front. Maybe it is handwriting. You mail it. Um, again, in the mastermind group, we have more information on this, but you mail it and then use an auto dialer like Red X or Land Voice and auto dial the same homes, right? So if you're gonna mail it to 100 homes, auto dial the same 100 homes, and then use a similar script as if you were door knocking, right? And again, we got stuff on that and support in the mastermind group uh, that can walk you through how to do that. Uh, but this is a absolute phenomenal way that is proven to get listing leads from this, all right? So if you're in the mastermind group here, let's just touch on this real quickly. And you can Google Dustin Fox, Chris Winstead, Pat Motley, right? So here we go. If I go. Right. Performing his own neighborhood, three months, five deals, right? And this still works. All right. Still works. Yep. So anyways, check that out. Absolutely awesome. The best way to get listing leads. Next up, the e-flyer for your database. Now, let me pop that out of my email and I'll bring it over here. We can take a quick look at it. And I was talking to another client recently and I love it when I say stuff all the time and people finally, they go, ah, oh, I'm going to try that. And yeah, okay, it works. So this e-flyer for your database, this thing is so, e this is way better than your standard listing alerts from your MLS. It's way better than your standing listing alerts from your IDX, all right? Uh, it's on point. The call to actions are perfect, all right? And so, People click this and they go to the single property website. Let me grab that. I don't know why it just opened up in my other monitor. There we go. So when people click the e-flyer. Nice. Right, so here's the e-flyer. So people click it and it goes to the single property website. And when they scroll down, it says, when this home is sold, affect your home's value. They click that and the landing page opens up for them to get their home value, All right? And you can see I got video in both, absolutely awesome. So these e-flyers for your database are absolutely brilliant as well, All right? Now, later on uh, with our follow-ups, once you're able to use it, we're gonna be setting it up so you can actually send these to your leads and listings to leads, um, but for the, in the meantime, you can send a test to yourself and then you can copy code 
and drop it into your CRM, all right? And we do this with Wise Agent, Line Desk, Boomtown, Follow Up Boss is a great one. Bomb or not Follow Up Boss. I mean, maybe you can have a Follow Up Boss. I'm just not sure. But Bomb Bomb is a, another one. So let me show you here. If I go copy code and I go to whatever CRM I'm using. So again, it, this could be Line Desk. It could be Follow Up Boss. It could be right any one of the uh, any one of the different CRMs that are out there. You can do with all of them. And so they've all got the ability to create an email blast just an email right and so you give it your email a subject line you know and usually i like to send this to all my leads right even my seller leads because it lets them know i've got listings right that i'm an active agent that i can hand you know i can handle your property just like i'm handling this property it looks awesome obviously i'm sent to my buyer leads hit next and again i'm showing you using listings to leads but you can do this with any any crm right and here's i'm gonna call it the hard part here's the part where your eyes roll right there is a in the editor up here there's all these different options and there's one called source you can see the source pops up i hit, I hit that and then i just click in the the big box here and i paste that code from before and then there's the e-flyer right and then i just hit send right now you might save a draft schedule it whatever send a test email just make sure you're good to go like you would normally but then just hit send and send that to your database right and again that e-flyer is so awesome you will get i've had i'm telling you i've had top producers i've had you know technology people they send this out to the database and they are shocked at they just get replies back people click the links for the single property website right and become a lead right so imagine you know, people click oh let's take a look at that and they click and like i showed you before right they scroll down and they see the all the information about the listing they can schedule a tour right if they're thinking about buying well that's cool if they're a homeowner looking to you know maybe just get their home value estimate that's cool they can look at that right there and everybody can look at this on their way to looking at more of the property information all right Somebody asked a question about the PDF guides. Um, <clears throat> I think you can, I know you can choose them. I don't know how. Um, so again, I would just say give us support on that. All right, you can select which PDF guides you want here. Um, we just did the ones that are kind of the most popular ones from what we can see uh, in admin, all right? So when people are doing ads, right, in which we took the PDF guides that typically get the lowest cost per lead, um, i.e. they convert the best. All right but yeah give us support on how do i change out the pdf guides that are used in my single property website and they can walk you through that as needed all right cool so that's so again that's the e-fly for your database highly i don't care if you're using boomtown ylopo chime uh whatever your idx is whatever your crm is whatever your mls is i would i would use this to announce my new just listed listing to my database over all of them, all right? You got the awesome URL, that looks awesome right there. If you're subscribed to our tech service, that will be there automatically, right? You got the domains that are customizable, in listing to leads uh, that are up here. So it's just a really, really powerful tool to be using uh, to market that just listed listing to your database, all right? So any questions? Oh, wow, we've got more people log on since I started this webinar. So good to see everybody. Welcome to the webinar. So any questions? On, I'm not, I'm not going to, you can see here the single property website, right? Unbranded and branded versions here. There is a, the virtual tour, again, full screen, uh, not full screen, the open house sign-in form. We got different listing flyers. 
All right, so let me just show you one. Let me, and let me show you this listing flyer on why you want to use our listing flyers. And if anybody has any templates that they would love to see us add to our system, uh, by all means, send them to us. I'm not gonna guarantee that we will actually use it, um, but we very, very well could, right? So here's my listing flyer for this property. Now, let me point out a few things to you. Notice the QR code. Notice the text will be there automatically. So you can get the property photo details and more. So if you're subscribed to our tech service, that will appear there automatically, all right? And then down here, if you need to sell before you buy, go to, and it gives a, it gives a URL so they can get a home value estimate right from your listing flyer. All right. So yeah, we love our listing flyers because they actually help convert uh, viewers into buyers or sellers. Take a look at another one here. And again, again, if you got a template, a uh, print flyer template that you just absolutely love, I am all eyes. Is it all eyes or all ears? But anyways, here we go again. Here's another one. Again, there's the text information. Here's the, do you need to sell before you buy? Go to, all right? Boom. All the information about the property. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, when you get a lead text that, Robert, yeah, you, yeah, that, you have to give support on that one. Yeah. Any any particular question related to something uh, specific to your account or something like that? Um, yeah, I'm not going to have the ability to sit there and kind of go through a lot of the stuff, unfortunately. So yeah, but definitely give support and they will for sure help you out with that. All right. Continuing down the list here, we got postcards and door hangers. Oh, here's one. So a lot of you may know that we just got done with the client review video contest, whatever that was, right? So a lot of our clients give us some client review videos. And I'll tell you, and I've heard this from other people as well, sign writers work, sign writers still work. I love option number three or one, right? In fact, probably, eh, I don't know. I like one or three. I like all of them. What am I saying? So here's the deal. When you're subscribed to our uh, tax IVR service, the extensions stay in your account, all right? Um, so you can, my point being, you can get sign writers, keep the sign writers, just rotate them around your listings. Um, and I'm telling you, people still send a text off the sign writers. It could be a nosy neighbor, phenomenal. I don't mind. I'll put the neighbor in my, in my CRM and drip on him for the next five years. All right, it doesn't cost me anything. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend a, I would subscribe to our tech service because we use those texts on Instagram. So for example, and we auto post to Instagram, right? An Instagram post is not clickable, is it? Well, if you're subscribed to our tech service, we put text in this case, one zero zero two to two, five, six, seven, eight for all the photos, details and more in the Instagram post. So it's actually something that people can look at and go, oh, I can do that versus link and profile and now they're out of Instagram and they didn't really want to be out of Instagram. You get the whole point, right? The text is used on the print flyers. Again, we're trying to get people off the print and into your online experience. And so the text IVR is worth the price of admission just for that alone. But on top of it, using these sign writers, people, this is just free money. All right, these are just free leads at this point because once you buy the sign writer, let's say you spend 15 bucks on it, Right, you can use it for a year. Let's just say every year you get new sign writers because you want them to look fresh and new. That's like a dollar a month. All right, you're gonna get more than one lead if you if you got that sign writer in use. Right, I'll just guarantee you. Right, unless you're unless it's a land listing in the middle of nowhere, you will get leads from using sign writers. All right, so I highly recommend it uh, all day long. Next up, blog posts. So when your listing first hits listings to lead, we do automatically post it to your WordPress blog. Um, but if you've got a blog or a custom page at your website, you got more options there. Craigslist, there are QR codes, and I think there's different formats of the QR codes. And then lastly, the YouTube listing video, All right? 
and uh, I'm not sure whether that's private. I do a lot of training on my YouTube channel. So yeah, I probably made it private by accident. I'll have to go back in there and make it public. But anyways, the YouTube listing video will be right there as well, all right? So any questions on anything related to just listed marketing or lead gen? All right, I'm gonna give a couple seconds here. Let me know any questions on anything so far that we've covered. I'm gonna go back up to Facebook ad, all right? Now, two more things since we're sitting here. So we, you see I got an ad live using the standard image and I've got an ad live for the same listing where I'm using a video. So you can totally do that. And you can always turn them off like this, all right? So you can always turn them off like that. Now I'm gonna give you some extra credit here. I'm gonna click on ads and i never like running one ad in isolation right so i got a just listed ad and you can see them here again because they're going to populate the ads dashboard but you can see i'm also running ads there's only one you can see on this page called five dangers of overpricing your home that is a pdf guide right that offers uh homeowners and home buyers access to different guides that i've got all right so check this out on the ads tab here, ads, create PDF guide ad. And since it's just listed, let's take a look at buyer guides. And here's my point. Generating leads off of listings, right? That's, those, those are the easiest kind of leads because you know anybody will click on a, 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 a Facebook ad right for a listing they just like looking at pretty pictures and that is awesome because you know what i don't care if you're going to buy 15 years from now two years from now or two days from now i want you in my database all right i want to get you now so that i can build a relationship with you no matter when you're ready to buy or sell all right that's fine 15 years from now i plan to be here in 15 years and i want to make money in 15 years so that's fine right so as i'm going through my lead gen buyer guides seller guides only people that are really looking to buy or sell are going to click a guide an ad for one of these guides all right so i got these buyer pdf guides and the secret to buying a home oh let's go back to buyer guides so before i show you this real quick let me just show you english spanish the entire guide the entire facebook ad converts to spanish so your choice of that so both the PDF guide is all in Spanish and the, again, the Facebook and Instagram ads are in Spanish. And then also here, before getting to doing the ads, let me just show you the themes. I can change my color scheme right here, all right? So let's get back to the guide here. So let's say, so again, I got a just listed ad and along with that ad running, right? I also wanna run another and for a buyer guide, I'm gonna do, wait, hold on a second, seller guide, buyer guide, there we go. And I'm gonna do the secret to buying a home in any season, and I'm gonna click the green create ad button. And notice here's my ad. Now here, I do have to type in the location. So I'm gonna use the same location as my listing, All right? We got the radius, special ad category, the lifetime budget of $35, start in, right? Again, just like before, everything is completely editable. Hit publish. And what I wanna do is run this to the same audience as my Facebook ad, right? So whatever the audience was, if I did a 30 mile radius, then I would do that here. If I did left at 15, I would leave it here. And the idea is now that we've got an ad for my listing and also an ad for a PDF guy that's branded to me for this, uh, for the secret to buying a home in any season. So let me show you how this works. So dude, let me tell you something. The autoresponders are set up. The branding is set up. The every page in the guide is set up. It's absolutely awesome. The ability to brand you as a local marketing expert is really unparalleled, especially for the price. Goodness. 
goodness, goodness. So let's see here, scroll down a little bit. So here's that ad we just did. All right, it's already on Facebook here. And so now people see this ad, they click. Again, name, email, phone number, time frame to buy. Click next. So the autoresponder is in my email and I will pop that out. And here we go. Let that populate. And there we go. So I can download that right now, all branded to me. Perfect. All right. So, and again, the thing I like about the PDF guides is it's much more likely that someone's going to click on an ad for a PDF guide that is seriously interested about buying or selling versus someone just click on an ad for a listing. Right. Now, again, I want everyone, I want everyone in my database I can possibly get. So again, I don't care if you're gonna buy or sell in 10 years, two years, or two days. Obviously, I want people to buy or sell quicker, but it's a numbers game. So I just know if I just keep generating the leads, right? Some are gonna close sooner, some are gonna close later, right? Some will never close at all, but it's a numbers game. So I need to get them into my CRM, get that follow-up going, stay in front of them. And that's where uh that's where those PDF guides I think really shine. And now here, I'm going to show you one more tip, not really related to just listing, but notice there's a blue custom uh, the create audience button. Name your audience. So now here's, I can up, this is how you can target people on Facebook or homeowners on Facebook without being able to target homeowners on Facebook. All right. So check this out. I'm going to call it Folsom Homeowners. And wherever I got my list from, it could be Remind, RPR, your title officer. Again, you can get in the mastermind group and search for Remind. All right. So you need to get it. So get it, get it. It could be your da your database, right? It could be your follow-up boss database, right? So upload the uh CR upload the CSV file right here. The format is Uh, email address, phone number. So wait, email, phone, first name, last name. So four columns, right? Phone, uh, phone number, blah. phone, yeah, phone, phone number, email, first name, last name, right? And you should be able to get that from Remind, RPR, or your title officer, right? And just ask for a list of homeowners in the area. You want that list to be over a thousand people because when it uploads into Facebook here, um, and when it uploads into Facebook we are then going to uh facebook i'm sorry we'll create we'll compare it to the people in the area and where they get a match right then they put that person in your custom audience right and that gets that is really awesome uh when you're doing a pending ad a just sold ad or a pdf guide ad for seller leads right and i don't know what happened to my my computer seems to be glitching on me everybody hear me okay still it could be the go-to webinar is causing me problems, but let me know if everyone can still see me okay. Everything good? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know why all of a sudden, I think my uh, computer might be slowing down, but anyways, the PDF guide for the seller ads, same thing, right? Select the seller guide, click create ad, uh, type in the location, and then that's where you can click to, like I showed you in the listing, just check that box for retarget, uh, retargeting, type in the name of the audience and you're off and running. Now keep in mind, if you're gonna upload the audience here, it can take a day or two for that to get created in Facebook, all right? So just kind of keep in mind that uh, when if you're gonna upload that custom audience here for us to create for you in Facebook, it can take a day or two. So do it before you need to have it. Um, and if you've already got a custom audience in Facebook, you can use it in listing to leads when you're doing the ad, all right? So it's a phenomenal way. I mean, just imagine doing a Facebook lead ad with custom questions, right? When do you plan, when do you, when do you plan to buy, when do you plan to sell? Using video and retargeting. If you were to do that in the Facebook ads manager, you would be there all day long, right? I mean, you literally would be there all day long. And so to be able to do a Facebook lead ad with custom qualifying questions, with video if you want to, uh, and retargeting, 
this fast is absolutely nuts. All right. So uh, I hope you make use of it. I hope you get a lot of value from that. And the last thing I'm going to show you is this new tab here called social. And again, it's in beta. You can request access to it. So I'm going to click, let's connect your social accounts. And you'll connect Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I'll just do Facebook, but you can do all of them, of course. And I'll just do continue Scott Pierce. It will then, all right. So I've already done this in the past. So there you see, there's my page. Now, if you ever get to here and it's not the right page, I think you can go here, go back to the platform and click edit settings. And if I need to change my page or add a page I want to post to, right? So there it is now. So there's my the best listing. There's going to be homes. I can do Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. Hit next. Here I can select which topic, and I can look at the different items within the topic. And let's see here. Yeah, my, my let's say my computer is starting to lock up a little bit, but you can see all the different types of content that are going to be there. And I can even click here to get into it, right? And I can edit this, right? So all of that is completely editable. And then I can select the, the categories. Right? So select all the different categories you want. You can see examples, hit next. I can select my days I want to auto post on, select the times I want to have it auto posted. Hit done. And that's it, just sit back and watch the magic happen. So we are going to pull from all the different content categories you selected, right? It'll, it'll be somewhat random. And we will literally auto post articles and images and so on to your uh, selected social media platforms with those uh, selected content categories. Uh, again, different articles and things like that, all right? The calendar, you can see starting next week, and there's all the different postings and i can even click here if i want to and i can edit the post so i can even change the image change the text whatever it is and i can say you know what just go ahead and post it now right and that'll post it now or i can just let it uh post per the uh the schedule that it already had all right and so again this is totally beta right now um we're gonna make it uh default wide release probably next week um and uh so yeah i'm pretty excited about that i can't wait for everyone to get a hold of that all right any other question this 1201 what almost perfect timing so i will leave it on that the recording will be put into the uh facebook mastermind group it'll be put on our youtube channel within the next few hours or so so you can access that at any time and if there's any other questions let me know here uh if you are an agent or an office and you want more information about listening to leads for your office, let uh, let us know. Just click on support or email success at listingsleads.com. So we got team accounts, we got office accounts, we got accounts for lenders, title officers, obviously real estate agents as well. Um, but yeah, just let us know how we can best help you. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks everybody, have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you next week.